Hermosa, Costa Rica. Um, I'm actually waiting on my ride for work right now. It's about 7.15ish in the morning. Uh, school starts at 7.30, so I will check in with you once I get to school. Ciao! Okay, so I'm finally home to answer some of your questions. Um, I'm sorry that it's taken so long. There apparently was some sort of a, um, there's been some sort of a measles outbreak in Costa Rica, which has been measles free for about 10 years now. Um, apparently a French boy, a French school boy, came with the disease. And so um, all of the primary school children, since they haven't previously been vaccinated had to kind of have like emergency vac vaccinations um kids and shots aren't a good combination so yeah it was a little hectic um I don't know if you saw but I have fourth fifth and sixth grade so my kids are a bit older I have the oldest kids in this school it's my second year teaching that grade um and I love them. I have a lot of the fourth graders still because they're in fifth grade now. I have a lot of um, the third graders I knew and of course the fifth graders that are now sixth graders. So yeah, um, my job, I love my job. It's my second year in a row working there. Um, it's called Ficus Tree School. It's in Playa Hermosa. And yeah, um, so questions. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions about the community here and if there are a lot of, if there's a big expat community, like a lot of gringos, a lot of um, like socializing that happens and yeah, there's definitely a huge expat community. Um, there, Hermosa isn't very touristy but Hako, which is the nearest like big town, it's still pretty small but um, that can certainly get touristy, especially like during the holidays. That's where people from like San Jose tend to go during the holidays and like on their weekends and on their breaks. So um, yeah, but I, that's what kind of one of the reasons I chose Hermosa to live is because it's very quiet. It's very peaceful. Everything stops at like 8 p.m. essentially, sometimes on the weekends a bit later. But yeah, it's very uh, serene. The beaches are like rather empty. A lot of people come here to surf because the surf is great. It's one of the best breaks in the world. Um, so I also got a lot of questions about um, like the cost of living based on salary, if you're able to save, travel on your free time, um, what that looks like. So I, I live with my boyfriend, so we split the rent. So yeah, it's definitely easier to save that way. Especially in Hermosa, I think the housing is like a bit more limited because it is a quiet town. So uh, rent is seven fifty with everything included, but we're and we're right on the beach. It's like it's such it's so beautiful. This is like a little front porch that we have. Um, yeah, without having a roommate, I would say it's a bit more difficult probably. But uh, but. Um, yeah, so with the salary, which is $1,000, it's it's definitely doable. It's manageable. Most places, I think, have everything included, as far as I'm aware. I've lived in the same place for two years, just because I love it. Um, <laughs> sorry. But, yeah, so there is, it's not, I don't think, uh, it's one of the top Latin countries where you can save, just because cost of living is a bit high. It's become much higher here in the recent years. Um, what else did I get? So in my free time, the beach, I got a question about that. Um, the beach is like literally 30 seconds away. You can probably hear the waves in the background. Um, we are expecting a baby. 
<laughs> I'm like five and a half months pregnant right now. So I used to do a lot of surfing. I'm not doing that anymore for the time being. But yeah, there's so many like restaurants. There's a huge expat community here. Uh, the beach is so close. So it's a pretty, it's kind of like the Costa Rican lifestyle. It falls into it pretty relaxed. Um, and then of course traveling like when when the time allows uh, what else let's see all right let's talk baby so yes I am five and a half months pregnant almost six months and yeah we decided to stay here to have the baby it Costa Rica happens to be like one of the best places to have a baby I've come to find out um, a everybody gets paid maternity leave for four months. So regardless of your immigration status, so whether you're on a tourist visa that has no sort of like legal, you know, coverings or anything like that, um, or whether you are working legally, I work on a tourist visa, I think most people do. It's a pretty lengthy and expensive process to the residency processes. Um, so yeah, so everybody, who's a worker gets four months paid maternity leave and everything is free, free healthcare, uh, prenatal. It's completely free if you choose to have your baby in a public hospital, it's completely free, no cost. Um, and then for one year postnatal for you and your baby, healthcare is totally taken care of. So it's, it's pretty wonderful. Um, we chose to have the baby in a private hospital just because it's a bit more like kin to the states and a bit more comfortable from what I've heard but that's always an option you know to have it to have no costs and the healthcare is great here I did a my last takeover I talked a bit about that about um, the healthcare and I was going to see the doctor that day actually so maybe check back on that one um, yeah so I'll be leaving work in two months and then I'll have three months afterwards and then I go back to work um, as far as, what else? Contracts. Um, I, I'm not on a contract currently just because it's my second year working at the school and I've become like pretty, I've become pretty close with the owners and we have a good relationship. Um, from what I've heard from my friends, most schools do have a contract. Actually, my, my first year at the school, I did have a contract. It was from, the, so the school year in Costa Rica starts in uh, like early February, the first week of February, at the private schools at least. And then it ends in like the second week of December. So your contract will be roughly, like roughly 11 months, more or less. Uh, most schools do, yeah, they do give a contract. Our schools, so yeah, the contracts are about 11 months, more or less. And um, the salary, I, from what I've heard, is it's pretty steadily around $1,000 a month. The main expenses, like I said before, here I think are a bit more than other towns in Costa Rica. Um, but yeah, let's see, what else? Um, so yeah, I live in a, um, it's kind of like a, yeah, it's a little apartment right on the beach. I've gotten a lot of questions about housing. Difficulty of finding a job. I've heard this a lot, that there's a lot of, uh, I don't want to say there's a lot, but from what I've heard from people and people's concerns is that there's a lot of sort of negative information out there that there are only jobs in the, in the big city in San Jose, which is the capital of Costa Rica, and that it's very difficult to find a job and that it's hard to maintain one if you have one. Based on my experience, I can only speak for myself, but I've had the same job for two years. I've had no issues with like immigration or the school getting raided or any of these things that I've heard from people. Um, it's certainly easier to find a job in the big city. I think that's probably true for most Latin American countries. But when I moved here, I, I researched every single school that was in the area, public and private. And it's, um, it, it takes a bit more work, it takes a bit more like dedication and emailing your resume to all these schools and being persistent and following up with them. But every beach town has private and public schools and a number of them, no matter how small the town is. This town is so small and there's two private schools and two public schools just in Hermosa, which is a tiny little town. 
So I can imagine that that's the, that's the case with most towns. I have a friend who actually interviewed at my school and then she decided to go to another little beach town, um, kind of by like Paz del Coco, and she got a job there with no problem. So there are international schools everywhere, including all the beach towns, like all the ideal communities like this, like where you want to live, not in the hustle and bustle city that's not so much the like epitome of Costa Rica, like the nature and the beaches and the surf and all of that. So, um, yeah, it takes a bit more work. So yeah, please keep sending me your questions. Um, I like answering them. I like helping everybody out. And I think we're gonna head down to the beach in about an hour for sunset, which is one of the best parts of living here. The sunsets are pretty epic. So I'll see you then. expecting this at all but we're getting married that was pretty wild that just happened on the beach at sunset I would have gotten more sunset photos but I was a bit distracted anyways um, I'm probably gonna sign off for the night but um, I'm gonna link on the next photo my personal account and you guys can ask me anything and um, yeah if any of you guys are interested in Costa Rica or any kind of like Latin American country I hope that you will message me and ask me any questions that you have. So, good night everybody. Happy teaching. I love you guys.